What's up guys, it's Fudge now to Gaming. and welcome back to another video. Today is a sort of rant, sort of, I don't really know what it is to be honest, I just thought I'd make this video just because I'm so frustrated and angry at the Euro 2016. Not, not for the playing, just for every single person ruining it, for every other people that want to be there to enjoy it. And obviously, I'm guessing you would have heard, but uh, if you haven't, uh, the Russian orchards have moved into France virtually, and they are just there to have a fight. They're literally just the Russian orchards like, hey Vladimir, can we get a fight with English people? And they're like, yes, Nico, let's go and beat, let's go and beat up the English facts. And it's like, what is the need, like? The thing is, they've offered them a warning, basically said, if something happens again, you leave it, you're going out, you're disqualified. But, they're the main people that are clashing with us in the first place, the English people. Yes, there is some silly little twats and cunts from the English uh, fan base that do want to then go and fight. Yeah, they can go and fight, but that's about 2% of the P English fans that are actually there to go and watch the game. You know, and it's just annoying for the, just annoying for like me watching at home because you, you see every other nation get on apart from four nations, England, Ukraine, Germany, and Russia. If you, I don't know if you've seen images, I'll try and get some images to put up now on the screen. I've seen Poland and uh, Northern Ireland fans literally hug, sing, laugh. They were singing bloody Abra in the middle of France and they were just absolutely loving it and that's what I want to see at the Euros not go hey Vladimir let's go like you know what I mean like why can't the Euros be about togetherness why not we're, we're all in Europe it's a competition about football it's not a place it's not bloody like I don't know, it's not UFC or it's not bloody anything. Why can't fans and people of every single side that's been fighting, why can't you just accept the fact that it's not about you? We've seen, yeah, like I just said, they were singing ABBA in the middle of France. Let's just think about that, they were hugging mm -hmm. and laughing and they were just in the middle of the bloody, they were just in, just, it pisses me off because that Russia are hoping the net uh, are hosting the next World Cup. How was anybody going to be there? No club, no no country that's going to be in the World Cup is going to boycott. But no one's going to go because there's no sense of security. You know, I was thinking about getting a friendship in two years' time, trying to save up within that two years. To go to Russia and go to the World Cup and go and experience somewhere modern and something different. But I'm not going to go unless I've got the security knowing that I'm not going to get beat or put into a Russian hospital. Probably be arrested for something that I have not done. And then probably put in like a Russian jail for two years with like Nico and Vladimir, innit? Like why, like... The Euro isn't about fighting, it's about coming together, the all of every single football crowd and just coming and having an absolute laugh. They've not kicked them out yet. How can you not kick them out when I've saw images and videos of the Russian ultras attacking the England fans? All the England fans have been doing, sitting there, having a pint or a beer, like lager or something, chilling out, talking, laughing. And the Russian ultras are there with bottles, throwing the bottles, getting chairs, and just, it's not bloody, it's not WWE with bloody steel chair match. It's not, it's not that, is it? It's just togetherness. That's what I don't understand. Why hasn't they been thinking by now? You've seen it. It's mostly started by the Russian ultras. Don't get me wrong. There's there's a two percent that is English knobs that are doing it. But most of it are Russian ultras because they want to go and fight. This is absolutely disgusting to see this type of behaviour at any single like sporting event. I just don't understand why people just can't get on. Like why? What's the point? And the, the, the amazing thing is, 
the, whatever that bloody Russian MP name was, he was like, yes, this is very good. Go on, Russian lads, keep on fighting. Well, that's when that's when your wafer just kept in and be like, hang on a minute, you can't say that. It's not fair. Because if we were to do that, we would just get slewed and probably kicked out of the competition. But I reckon, because it's Russia, nobody can be asked because of what threat threats they have. I don't think they've got any threats. I don't think bullshitting on everything, to be honest. So it just pisses me off. Like, if we was to then... We've got a warning, but it just pisses me off how one bloody nation, because of all the threats, which I think, yeah, is personally bullshit can get away with shit like this attacking English fans is not fair and the French police cannot control it whatsoever they I don't know they seem to think that it's all the English people because it seems to be yeah there's there's two people to get arrested and put in prison like six months which is fair enough they they unfortunately did start whatever their their own fight which is fair enough but you see no Russian people have really been arrested and really been put in prison so it seems to be a bit of a coincidence how it's only the English fans and the French fans. No, not even French fans, it's just English fans are just being put in prison. And Russian fans are getting it it's got free, it's not bloody fair. How is it fair for one country to get a trip then it's not? It really isn't fair. And I they've they they miffed the security at the England game uh, against Russia. They miffed it. How on earth did Russian fans get into the English section and start beating them up? How, like, you're meant to have the top security in the world and nothing's happened. So it just pisses me off. So yeah, please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed if you want, if you want to see. Also, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you want to see me make more videos like this. And I've been Fudge99 Gaming. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.